Well, come on, guys. Well, I am in Greece. I'm in Athens at the moment. Uh, I'm with BMW Motorrad. I'm doing one of their Greek short adventure tours. So this is basically four nights, three days riding around the Greek countryside. Some fantastic history around here. Some fantastic countryside, and I've been told some fantastic roads. So I can't wait. This is our starting point. This is Athens. Let's get going. Woo. So I have got the BMW 800 GS. I've never ridden one before. This isn't the latest version. This is actually the tour guide's own bike because there were so many people on this tour. I ended up, this was the only bike they had. This is this personal bike. So not actually one of the, uh, <laughs> one of the higher bikes, but it has got the Aquaprovic on it. And it's also got Olin's rear shock on it. So <laughs> it's got some mods. So this is BMW Motorrad Tours, is who I'm doing this with. They do tours all around the globe, basically. Vietnam, uh, South America, South Africa, Argentina, Chile, all of Europe, Norway, Sweden, basically covering the whole globe as far as Southeast Asia. So they've got a massive footprint. They use locally hired bikes, so you go with BMW Motorrad Tours, but then you they have their own local provider who provides the bikes. Right, that's it. So we're heading out of Athens. I will turn you back on when we arrive at our first destination. I'll speak to you in a minute. Let's get a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I love the bench you for just standing up. It's going to be a long time in the saddle today. I think about 250 kilometres. I mean, not too bad, but with my ass, best to stand up, rest it a little bit. This is the best thing about venture bikes, being able to just stand up, take the weight off your ass. Absolutely love it. This could be it, this could be coffee. So we're now into the Peloponnese part of Greece. So this is the peninsula which separates mainland Greece to there. It's like it's, it is actually an island now. I think because of this canal, it actually makes it an island. So this is the Corinthian Canal, which was built in 1883. Let me come around from the bridge. It's quite impressive. Pretty impressive, mate, isn't it? How deep is it? Did you read anywhere how deep it was? I don't know, at least 200 meters. Yeah, I wonder how deep the actual water is as well though. I mean, that's, if that's to get tankers through, whatever, it's obviously... I saw a movie about it actually. Did you? There's a big ship going through this canal. Oh, really? Incredible. There's a very tiny boat in, in, in front, like a guide, and the big ship is... Just oh, follows the boat through. Wow. Right, time for a coffee. So this is our route for the day. So there's Athens, that's where we started and we've traveled along to the Corinth Canal, which is here. And this is Peloponnesia. So this was actually joined onto the mainland, but because of the canal, it's now actually an island. So this is where Sparta was. So old Sparta is around here. So tomorrow we're gonna to visit the old town, which where Sparta was, where the Spartans were. But today's route is Athens, Corinthian Canal, where we are now, then down on this coastal piece, and then back into Nafpilo. Excuse my terrible pronunciation, but that's where we're staying tonight. So we've got two nights in the hotel here, and then tomorrow, day two, we're touring right down here. Uh, I believe this is Sparta, is around here somewhere. So we're touring back round, and then third day, heading back in the northern way, back to Athens again. 
couple of five on the night in the hotel in Athens. So that's the plan. That is the route we're going to be taking. So if I want to go off route, these are the routes which are programmed into the sat now. So if I want to any time go off, off piste, I can. But it's all very mountainous down here. So I think tomorrow there's a great deal of mountains down here. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Love it. It's a good registration. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too happy with my registration. OAP. I know, I know. hell of what, what are they trying to say? <laughs> So that was the canal at Corinth. So now we're heading over the canal and I'm not sure where our next stop is. There's, I think there's a nice coastal stop where we're stopping for lunch, but I think it's I think it's a good hour and a half, couple of hours away. So I've got the 360 camera rigged up, up there now. Let's see what sort of views we can get from that. Oh, <laughs> same sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Causing a spectacle. I'm causing a spectacle already. There's a boat going through, look. Being tugged through. They tug them through by the look of it. Look at that. There you go. Seen it in action. And this is the route. Go. We're going to Argos. I don't think they're on about the, uh, the retail chain. Well, I hope not. Look at this. This is what life is all about. This is what biking is all about. Fantastic. Get out there to coin a phrase, live your life. Try not to die. It seems that quite a lot of people speak English, quite a lot of the Greeks actually speak English. But my taxi driver who picked me up from the airport did not speak a word of English. So we ended up having to use Google Translate to try and be to tell him where the hotel was. And then obviously the hotel said Da Vinci Consta blah blah blah. When you try and say that into Google Translate, it doesn't do a very good job of it. So I was a little bit worried, I may not even find the hotel. Then the guy starts asking me questions about what my, what am I doing in Greece via the translator. I said I'm on a motorcycle tour. And he, you know, obviously then Google Translate translated that to Greek. He spoke in Greek. I've also got a horse. <laughs> They're very faithful animals. <laughs> and then I realised that the conversation was going off piece slightly. So I said, oh really? Okay, yeah, very nice. And then the, the, the last thing he said to me was, horses are very nice but I find that donkeys last longer. <laughs> I didn't quite know how to respond to that. And we left the conversation there. There we go, some twisties. I'm having him, I'm having him. I'm having him. Look at the views, look at the, look at the clouds up on those mountains. Oh, wow. This is incredible. This is, this is what it's about. I have got my knee sliders on these uh, leather trousers, but I don't think I'll be needing them. Wow, look at this. Heavenly. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely fantastic countryside and scenery. And some brilliant twisties to boot. Greece could be biking Nevada. This is what touring is all about for me. Roads like this, scenery like this. It's incredible. Just do not have this in the UK. The only way to get riding like this is to come abroad. Absolutely fantastic. Reminds me a little bit of this of the B500. The surface is not quite as good, but this this here is quite B500 like. With massive views. Okay, looks like we're stopping for a picture opportunity. I mean, it's certainly worthy of it. Look at it. Fantastic. Wow, what is that down there?
Again, they're farming something down there. We're not sure what, some sort of fish farming going on. But that sort of netted area. This is a nice bit of tarmac. This bit of tarmac is incredible. This is as good as any tarmac anywhere in the world. And so are the twisties. This is very much like the B500. This has a very B500 feel to it. It really does. Like the mountain of the, the, the forests, the tarmac. Yeah, this is quite B500-y. But without the police or the traffic. Incredible. Breezy. Yeah, mate, it's good of you, isn't it? What a knobhead. Let's overtake on a blind bend. I don't know how many times I could just say incredible views. <laughs> It's the 126th time I've said it in this video. I think this riding is, is actually better than the riding I've done in Italy. I've done riding around the lakes, which is fantastic, but it's busy around there, and I think these roads are better. I've done riding around Tuscany in Italy. Again, I think these roads are better. I think from, from riding pleasure in the roads I think this tops Italy from what I've seen of it anyway the bits I've been on Spain is amazing and Lucia that area is incredible for roads but from what I've seen so far the surfaces are a bit better in the, in Spain perhaps but it's very similar riding this is fantastic riding Could be lunch. This is it. The theatre. We're at the amphitheatre. A bit more culture on the trip. Wow, there you go. A Greek amphitheatre. The acoustics are going to be fantastic. I wonder what a GS would sound like in the middle. Acoustics, incredible. Anyone got any idea where we are? Greece. Greece. <laughs> Who's up for a boat trip? Ooh, not a bad pool as well. Look at this. It's incredible, what a place! Not off 
bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs>